I am at the home of one of my very best friends on this planet, Lori Smith. Lori, your house is so beautiful. And what I love most though, I mean, you're my go-to person for anything if I'm unorganized like I normally <laughs> always am. But also, you know so much about taking a house and making it a home. And that's what I love about what you've done here. Thank you, Cami. I appreciate that. We have been here almost three years now. I can't believe it's been that long. <laughs> I know. It's been such a lifelong dream for mm -hmm. Shannon and I to build our own home. Mm -hmm. And so I can't either. It's a dream come true. And we still are like, how do we live here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so. You also have some things that you're doing and that you've been working on as mm -hmm. far as not only getting a house ready, mm -hmm. but as far as putting your family on mission. Yes. And my kids are a little bit younger than yours, so I'm catching you maybe at a good time for yeah. me. But how exactly are you doing this? I mean, this is a whole series on your website, yes. right? Yes, I'm starting a series that's launching in a few weeks and it's about um, reclaiming your family. And so I feel like the best place to start doing that is in the home. Okay, what do you mean and, by reclaiming? Well, I feel like we're busy with the chaos and so many things going on in our schedules. Everybody has something different to do and you know, it's just chaotic. Mm -hmm. And you're kind of like, how do you know what matters most when everything seems like it matters? And mm. so you kind of just wind up where everybody's going their own separate way. And until you decide, okay, we've got to take this back and reclaim our family, mm. it's going to be chaos. Okay, that is so good. But like, where do we start? <laughs> <laughs> well, you kind of need to know where you're going first. I know whenever my husband and I first got married, we were very young. We had no business starting a family. And we kind of just blindly figured it out along the way. And we decided that we wanted to give our children the chance to have a better start. Mm -hmm. And so that was our mission until they've grown and they've got families of their own and now we have grandchildren. And so my husband and I had to start our own brand new mission. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's kind of where we're at. I'm, I'm sharing with the people that read my blogs about creating a mission. I love it. And there will be more to come on that um, you, on your blog, but yes. also on our show, which yes. I love. And we're going to be seeing Lori just a little bit more here and there. Um, but what is the first step then? When you say mission, is there a mission statement? Yes. So we, what we created was we just sat down together and took some time and brainstormed and thought about where do we want to see ourselves in the future. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we don't have family. We don't have kids running around, but we love to have our family. Mm -hmm. So we love to be hospitable. That's why we built this home. Um, we thought about, you know, just hosting people, giving them the opportunity to relax and be entertained and find a place to find some peace. And so that became in our hearts what our mission was. So when you know and you look to the, the future where you want to land, that helps build a mission statement in your yeah. heart. So Josh and I are a lot like you in that we love to entertain. We mm -hmm. want to be the home where like yes. the kids bring their friends to our house yes. and where our friends and family gather. But a lot of people are, are not that personality. True. So maybe there are some other goals out there. Yes. What other kind of mission do you think people could, might look at? Absolutely. I think, you know, one that just comes to my mind immediately is maybe you see yourself on like a financial mm -hmm. mission to where you see yourself as a missionary of supply where your family generates some type of income and in, in a way that they can help people who do feel the call to hospitality and things like that. Yeah. So that might be one idea. Do you think that people's missions might change as they go through different stages? Absolutely. That's a great question because when I was writing, my husband and I got together and wrote this mission right now. I told him right off. I said, we need to recognize that this can change in a year from now, in a few years mm -hmm. from now. So it's not set in stone and there's not mm -hmm. all that pressure. There's, there's time to change as you evolve and work through that mission. What opens up? What possibilities open yeah. up? As I hear you talking, I kind of feel like this is like you're setting a mission so that other things you do stem from that. So that's right. So then you are prioritizing or that's you're right. being more intentional about how you move forward with your family. Yes. And, and that is the whole point is wow. because when everything's coming at you, it sounds awesome. You want to be a part of so many different things. And I, I for one, am, um, you know, multi-passionate. <laughs> I want to be yeah. involved in everything. I enjoy a lot of different things. But 
but whenever I look at my mission, I funnel the decisions through the mission. And that helps me to know maybe that's not really for me right now in this season. Okay, that, uh, that would make it easier to say yes to some things and say no to some things. That's not right. that things, everything's no, yes. but not right now maybe. Maybe yeah. this season of my life, we're really trying to save to get out of debt and that's one of our big missions. That's so right. you can also have a couple maybe, yes. right? Like Absolutely. maybe financial, maybe spiritual, maybe yes. even just the, the way that you're you know, organizing your home, I yeah. would think. All of those are goals to help you reach your mission. Okay. And so you're going to always kind of be going back in each season to your mission. Can you tell me your actual mission statement for your family? Yes, but because it's so new, I'm going to have to read it for you. <laughs> <laughs> so for my husband and I now, and even my daughter came in the other day and she was like, hey, is that our family mission? She's still on board. Right. <laughs> so it says that our mission is to create an atmosphere of faith, love, and hospitality that cultivates meaningful relationships, individual growth, and kingdom advancement. Oh, I love that. And I can see how that would keep you coming back to that and yes. prioritize everything in your day, everything in your life. Does That's that right. meet your what time, we're trying your to finances, do? Your finances, your resources. Even the relationships between right. you and your spouse. That's right. Okay, so there's so much more that you have for us. Yes. And I look forward to that. Yes. Like, stay tuned because Lori has so much more. Where can we find this on your blog though? Okay, so on my blog, it's lorijsmith.com and you just go to the blog tab and it will be coming up in about three weeks. So we'll have a four week series on that. And next week we'll be talking about once you have your mission, you create a command station to make it happen. Ooh, I love that. You are, <laughs> you're just always inspiring to me and that's why I wanted to share you with our audience. So thank Thanks, you so Kimmy. much, Lori, for having me. Thank you.